Mr. President, we also have a name we call him from the house of world. We call him the Sugar Babemingida Saren King Daddy One of Cross River State. Your Excellency, thank you so very much. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, at this point, it is my pleasure to most respectfully invite a continental champion selected by the African Union on the corruption fight, an anti-graft war president with zero tolerance for corruption, a system purifier, a solution architect, a cool, calm, collected president, a president who took a 50% pay cut to set an example. Your Excellency, Mr. President, would like to also let you know that here in Cross River State, your name, Muhammadu Buhari, is an acronym. And for Muhammadu, M stands for magnanimous, U, unrelenting, H, honest, A, accommodating, M, meticulous, M, matured, A, articulate, D, discipline, U, unstoppable. <laughs> Mr. President, Buhari also stands for brave, undaunted, harmonizer, administrator par excellence, resilient, and of course, integrity. At this point, I'd like to most respectfully invite His Excellency, Muhammadu Buhari, President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, to please present his address. A round of applause for Mr. President. Your Excellency, sir. The Executive Governor of uh, Cross River State, Professor Ben Ayadi, and the other Executive Governors here present, members of the National Assembly, members of the Federal Executive Council, the Deputy Governor of Cross River State, and members of the State Executive Council, the Speaker, and members of the Cross River State House of Assembly, the Chief Judge, and members of the Cross River State Judiciary, Service Chiefs and Representative of the Inspector General of Police, former Governors present here, top government officials present here, the Chairman and members of Cross River State Council of Traditional Rulers, religious and spiritual leaders here present, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly two years, eight months ago, I was here in Cross River State. That visit was historic because, firstly, it was my first official visit to any state after assuming office as president. And secondly, the purpose was to perform the groundbreaking ceremony for the landmark project, the 2,274 kilometer superhighway initiated by His Excellency Governor Van Eyde. Today, I am here again in the state to commission yet another visionary and trailblazing project, the Calabarai Seedling Factory built by the state government. I must say that visiting the state for the second time within three years in connection with people-oriented and flagship projects of Governor Ayade is very welcome and very satisfying to me. When we assume the reins of leadership of our dear country, this administration launched a zero oil economic roadmap as a way of making our country less dependent on oil while encouraging investments in other sectors of the economy, particularly agriculture. I am happy that Governor Ayade keyed into that policy and has today become one of the reference points in our agricultural revolution effort. Our gathering here today is no doubt a determination woven through to precision and a glowing testament to the fact that the policy is working. Indeed, this factory speaks loudly about the giant strides we are making in agriculture as a country. 
this monumental project for which we are gathered here today is a marvel to behold. The factory, which is said to be the first in Africa, is an automated plant with a capacity to produce high yielding vitamins and disease resistance rice seedlings. What we expect is that seedlings from this factory will improve rice yield from current national of three to four tons per hectare to about nine to 10 tons per hectare. Thus helping to ensure rice sufficiency in the country and doing away with imports and saving foreign exchange for Nigeria. The factory is also targeted at creating employment opportunities for the unemployed. I have no doubt that this rice factory will also be a veritable platform for income generation for the people of Cross River State. I therefore enjoin relevant federal government agencies such as the Ministry of Agriculture and the Central Bank of Nigeria through its anchor borrowers program to partner with Cross River in the area of supply of seedlings to our farmers. With Governor Ayades, other investments in agriculture, such as ongoing construction of an ultra-modern rice mill in Ogoja, the cotton farm in Yala, the cocoa processing plant in Ikom, and the banana plantation in Udupani, the feed mill and the yellow maize farm in Ububra, as well as the ultra-modern poultry farm for export of frozen chicken, among others. It is clear that Cross River has found a pathway to ease itself from over-reliance on federal allocation. <laughs> it is evident also that by conceiving projects such as this, Governor Ayade has a keen eye for tomorrow, focusing on projects that are building a new economic base for the state rather than projects with short-term benefits for the purpose of making cheap political gains. I sincerely commend Your Excellency's vision. As our country makes steady assured progress towards self-sufficiency in food production, it is therefore my hope and expectation that other states that are yet to fully take advantage of the zero oil economic roadmap of the federal government will take a cue from Cross River State. Thank you, and God bless people of Cross River State, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mr. President, thank you. Well, I have, uh, I have tried what is on the yeah. written here. Africa's first right seedling factory in Kalawa was commissioned by me on this day, 26 June 2018. Thank you very much. Once again,